about shit that I shouldn't have. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. Hi, everyone. Dr. Saul here in Beverly Hills. One of the most common questions I get asked, what procedures are covered by insurance when I'm doing plastic surgery? Actually, there are some things covered. Remember, medical insurance will only cover things that are necessity, nothing for beauty or cosmetics. If it's a medical necessity, they will cover it. Let's go over from head to toe. First starting is with a upper blepharoplasty. They won't cover a lower blepharoplasty, but if you have enough skin that it prevents you from viewing and covers any kind of your vision, then they'll cover an upper blepharoplasty. Coming down the nose, if you have a deviated septum and you have problems breathing, they'll cover the septal part, but not the cosmetic part. So a deviated septum is covered also. Coming further down to the breast, they'll cover breast reduction. Now, if you that's after you've gone through a chiropractor and you've done exercises and strengthening and everything. If you have heavy breasts, they will cover a breast reduction, but you cannot choose the size. You need a certain amount of weight to be taken off to qualify to be paid by the insurance company. What procedures are covered by insurance when I'm doing plastic surgery? The fourth procedure they cover is a capsulectomy. Sometimes some breasts develop capsules and some insurances do cover capsules because why? Because they become hard and uncomfortable and it, and it causes the patient to have pain and discomfort. So for that reason, it's a medical necessity. Now going down, uh, one thing that they do cover is a umbilical hernia. They don't cover a diastasis with a lot of women get with pregnancy, but they will cover an umbilical hernia because what can happen is that the hernia can penetrate through and become strangulated and cause almost death if you don't get to it early enough. So that they'll cover. And the last procedure that they cover commonly for plastic surgery is a paniculectomy. You ask, what's a paniculectomy? Paniculectomy is excision of excess skin below the umbilicus. Now, what does that, why do they cover it? Is because when you have, when you lose a lot of weight and you have excess skin, you have skin on top of skin. And this can cause infection. It could cause fungal infection, bacterial infection, all sorts of difficulties for the patient and could land them in the hospital. 